I would like to pull out one more, uh, shall we say, classic of the genre by myself. I'm going to allow you to choose. I can either read the hard-boiled detective novel chapter, or I can read the phenomenally offensive sci-fi fantasy epic by the men's rights activists. Let me be clear, if you want option two, this is phenomenally offensive. I'm with you, but the people have spoken. The Cup Lords of Beta Prime. <laughs> Book three of the Retribution of the Eagle Templars Quadrilogy from the ongoing Gunfucker Chronicles series <laughs> by Ivan P. Manley Wolf. <laughs> I'd like to reiterate this is by Ivan P. Manley Wolf, not Paul Sigourney. <laughs> Chapter one, Black Dawn Rising. Prometheus Gunfucker was in a tough spot. He'd been in tough spots before. Stuck in level 26 of Empress Coctesia's pain maze on Amygdala 3. Single-handedly taking on an elite squadron of Westphalian changeling mercenaries, while armed with nothing but a pair of Sai and a handful of Yashukane, which the dumb shit mercs kept calling throwing stars, or Jesus fuck almighty ninja stars, even as Prometheus hurled them into their tracheas. Trapped in the fuck mines of Vaginus Minor, stripped of his ginseng and vitamin E supplements. Yeah, he'd been in tough spots before, and he'd always come out just fine. Usually, literally involving cum. Because Prometheus Gunfucker porks all the chicks. <laughs> but that was then. This was a whole other new then. <laughs> because right now, in this then, Prometheus Gunfucker was standing in the middle of a huge fighting pit. Specifically, he was in one of the infamous tit pits of Outer Side Bubulon. <laughs> More specifically, he was in the planet's largest tit pit, and this was the main event like center court at Galactic Wimbledon. Although Gunfucker wouldn't be caught dead playing Galactic Tennis, Gunfucker only engaged in sports designed for ultra-high T-level males like himself. Laser ball, cockfighting, Russian roulette, explosion rugby, and naked oil wrestling. <laughs> the grandstands surrounding the ring were packed with thousands of cheering, ugly alien motherfuckers. Each motherfucker uglier than the last, and looking like they fucked mothers just as ugly as they were. <laughs> this riffraff from dozens of different galactic races were all shouting, placing bets, drinking, throwing bits of food and trash into the ring, swallowing whatever substances worked as narcotics on their respective bloodstreams, and generally being fucking ugly. <laughs> Prometheus Gunfucker paid this rabble no notice. His attention was to engage elsewhere. Standing across from him in the pit, roughly 20 lunar yards away, was the tallest, largest, most jacked humanoid Gunfucker had ever seen. Gunfucker had seen tall, large, jacked humanoids before. The slave trooper homunculi from Homunculus One, the hulking, hair-covered berserker men of Rafa's Omega, The men of shit gunners of Quarthon, who had nearly destroyed Gunfucker's ship, the anime seduction, before he sent them back to whatever hell they'd hatched from. Yeah, 
18 tall, large, jacked humanoids before. But this humanoid was taller, larger, and jacked than any of them before. Even worse, this one was a goddamn woman. <laughs> Ivan P. Manuel. <laughs> Let me mess with you. In her right hand, the she beast held a katana, two and a half meters in length. The cutting edge, or Gekiba, glinted in the lights of the arena. Gunfucker instantly knew by the swing or curve of the blade, the faint green glow of the tsuba or guard plate, and the particular weave of the katate maki of the tsuka ito, the battle rap style of the silk handle rapping, and the nakago mei, the maker singer for the world. You have to understand, I have to pronounce the italics. <laughs> to make your signature mark on the back of the blade. That this sword was forged by the blade masters of New Nippon Su, whose blades retained their sharpness for a thousand years, and could cut through a battle tank called Light Space Fire. In her left hand, she held an M41B pulse rifle. 10 millimeter with over under 30 millimeter pump action grenade launcher. Pretty much like the M41A pulse rifle in the movie Aliens, but different because this was an M41B, not A, so nobody could get sued. <laughs> By the way, it was a badass weapon that could fuck up whomever and whatever its owner wanted up fucked. <laughs> she was covered in liquid nano Kevlar blast armor. Strong enough to withstand a point blank Gauss rifle blast, yet thin and form fitting, highlighting what Gunfucker had to admit were phenomenal boner inducing curves. From her stout calves and calipigian rear meats, all the way up to her toned biceps and massive, round, gravity defying knockers, like two hefty Charlie Brown heads mounted to describe her stern. Also, Gunfucker was totally nude. <laughs> the Amazonian warrioress, who had been standing serenely with her eyes closed, slowly opened them. They were ice blue, setting off nicely the near white blonde of her hair, which fell loosely about her shoulders and halfway down to her previously mentioned fine, fine ass. She gazed unblinkingly at Gunfucker, her eyes shooting daggers. Metaphorical ones, thank Christ she apparently hadn't had cyborg occupant dagger launchers and stuff yet. <laughs> she leveled her katana at him, and the crowd hushed to a dull murmur. Prometheus Gunfucker, she exhorted loudly yet softly. <laughs> Masculine yet feminine. I am a Hera Shaven Cleft. <laughs> you killed my father in the Battle of Rift Haven. You killed his brother in the Second Battle of Rift Haven. <laughs> you killed their father in the memorial service to the fallen soldiers of First and Second Rift Haven. <laughs> and you fucked my mother and my four sisters at the Rift Haven Marriott Grand Marquis. <laughs> Today I am going to kill you. I am going to kill you super dead. So fucking dead you wouldn't believe it. I am going to murder every single part of you. Your eyes, your heart, your blood, your balls, your hair, your feet, that thing between your nose and lips that I can never remember the name of, your house, your toothbrush, your goddamn name, maybe even your dog if you have one, but not your cat if you have a cat, because I like cats. You get the general idea, I think. Anyway, get ready to die, scum shit. The crowd erupted, and side bets flew anew. Soon a buzzer sounded, signaling the imminent start of the match. Prometheus Gunfucker looked, Gunfucker looked, yes. looked at the warrior woman across from him, and how she was totally kitted out. He looked down at himself, 
with no weapon, no armor, nothing but his legendary, huge, vain, throbbing cock to swing. <laughs> he looked back up at his opponent and weighed his options. This was going to take some serious name. 